and welcome to this video tutorial. What we're going to look at on this tutorial is converting this color photograph into a black and white photograph using the new black and white adjustment layer in CS3. So here is the uh, layers palette. And if you drop this down, you're going to get the black and white adjustment layer. Now we're going to just take this and put it up there and we'll bring this over so you can see it. These are all the different ways that you can actually make changes and adjustments to the photograph. Uh, you've got presets. Uh, let's just go with a red filter, see how that looks. There's the red filter. It's kind of nice. Uh, if we want, we can do another preset. Uh, how about infrared? There's an infrared one. Or what we can do is move these sliders around by going onto the screen. Now if I take the preview off you can see this is all blue up in here. Now if I put this on the blue and drag to the left it darkens it up. So see how dramatic that is darkened up the uh, blue sky. Now we'll go across the roof here. Lighten that up a bit. And maybe come into this grass a bit. And let's try the road, see what it does. So it's uh, it's a lot of changes you can make. This is a really neat adjustment layer and for the people who like black and white it will provide you with endless hours of fun just converting everything in sight. So that's what you do. Um, there's a couple other things you can change. Well one other. Uh, tint. If I tap on the tint now I've got a sepia and if I change the saturation you can see it just takes it off a little bit. We can change the hue there it's up to blue. Blue is kind of nice. Take it down a bit. And there's the blue tint. Take it off. Put it back on again. So that's how you do it. You uh, use this neat little uh, adjustment layer and you can have all kinds of different effects on your black and white photographs. If you're wondering uh, if you need a reason to upgrade to CS3, well here's one of the reasons. This is a really great way of doing black and white uh, photographs. Uh, I think you can get CS3 upgrade from Photoshop 7, CS, and CS2 for about $200 from Adobe. If you have Elements 3 and above, you can also upgrade that, which I think is a new feature that Adobe is offering. Uh, it used to be that there was no upgrade path from Elements to Photoshop, if I'm not mistaken. So this is a good reason to, uh, to, to get out of Elements and get into the full Photoshop. So thank you for watching. I appreciate it, and I hope you found this interesting. Come and pay a visit to my site. You'll see it at the end of this uh, tutorial. And have yourself a great day and have fun with your black and white.